crew, Mark Hatmaker here. Uh, we're giving you a clip. Uh, we're on a previous solo thing where we did a half heist solo drill where we talked about two point bass, raising the hips up, uh, getting high. Uh, we, we talked about the slap and trap, we talked about the guardrail. And it's not quite fair, not quite kosher to go and say, guardrail is really important, but I don't want to tell you why. We need just one application from it. All right, uh, I'd love to bring in here, please. Sit betwixt my legs, if you will. All right, we're going to assume I slapped a trap and everything's great. And I've come up and I've done wonderful. And remember, some of the things we talked about before, I want to be as high as possible. So this is good, this is better. Uh, but some of the things that are going on here while I'm doing all these things, let's turn to the side. Make sure we're clear here. There's no space here. This foot is right up against that cat. This knee is squeezing in. So I'm going to exaggerate this, meaning if I've got this much, see this space? No one would do this, right? Because they're going to hop over. They don't hop. No one would do this, but I'm saying, if I'm not, t if I'm uh, just an inch off, I think that's bad, just as bad as doing this. The difference is going to be we want this tight, this tight, this squeeze and tight. That guardrail is high, so my knee is trying to touch the back of my calf. This calf is trying to touch the back of the knee. They're meeting in the middle. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Indeed. So we want this much cohesion going on. Again, even better if I'm rising high. So let's turn profile, profile, profile. So far. If her arm is flat and straight and I'm wanting to hook this up, no good. Remember I talked about wanted our hips high? Watch her back, please. Raising my hips high is what starts so much of the exposure I need. Raising my hips high to here, even better. Got it? Guardrail, we also know if I'm wrong, she's going to hop. Don't do it. She's going to hop and be gone, right? The other thing guardrail does is you're going to go, well, how about getting high here? I'm here. This is what pulls me high. Got it? So even if she starts driving me back and I fall to my elbow, drive, please. I'm still able to use this to fight my way back to position right here. Got that? Guardrail is huge. We want to be able to, so I'm able to fly off that guardrail and, just, and to hook into some other areas here. One, I'm going to give you one more application for this guardrail position. It's a pretzel sweep. You, probably, you likely know it. I'm going to make sure we're clear. We're using so many things coming off this position. Uh, on the pretzel sweep, if I still think I'm likely and I don't have the base for a full hip height, Turnover. I don't hit the base for the cuter up two. Still a wrist lock, and I don't want to take the shot on the uh, the guillotines. All of the two eleven, uh, two twelve. Um, I can shoot for that uh, the pretzel sweep. Let me just head it back out for just a moment here. Leave for me. Let me do a, a solo thing here. What I'm gonna do is I'm here. We're assuming I'm high. I am going to take my post hand and I'm gonna underhook the near knee. The knee on the side I'm working towards, all right? So I will fall to that shoulder while I'm doing the underhook. As I'm scooping on that knee, I'm pulling on the guardrail. As I roll through to my back, as soon as I hit two back points right there, I release the guardrail. I'm still pulling on this. This hand, as I release the guardrail, goes flat, palm down, reaches behind me as I'm still lifting. This will bring me all the way back around and back into base. One more slow. So I've guardrailed. Underhook, pull both, two back points, release, reach, and back up. The reason we are releasing, for two reasons. One, I want to remove the speed bump because I'm going to have my body weight, someone else's body weight on top. If I'm still hanging on the guardrail, <clears throat> I get bunched up. Two, I can trap my own limb underneath me. Nobody wants that. Nobody. Can I bring you back in, please? So, I'm saying, I'm hooked up. I ran my guard around. I'm going to do this nice and slow, all right? So, I've hooked up here. That's where my back point releases. And I reach, and I come all the way up and rise up. You got it? Go ahead and get out of here. Like I said, nice and slow so we can see what's going on with it. But the key is, the guardrail prevents them hopping over. Guardrail keeps me high and tight. Guardrail opens up more sweep opportunities. Three, four, five, six, at least. Twelve more sweep opportunities come from me being up that high. It allows me to stay tight, allows me to monitor this. Also puts all my weight through her shoulders. That's going to make her really want to start keeping hands on the deck, which means it opens up more opportunities for me to go attack in those limbs, keeps me high on an angle to come down when I'm looking for the chancerys and the guillotines on the neck. So it's pretty darn sweet. Work the solo drill, work that, and that's not the only thing in the guardrail. One more skinny on it. We're all 212. 